Hey, what's up guys, TJ here, and one day you may need to take some product photography. So today, we're gonna show you how to make a box to take product photography with. Sometimes you have something that you wanna sell. You might wanna sell like this camera, for example. Maybe you bought it and you don't want it anymore and you wanna sell it online. One good way to sell things is to have a good picture of it. It may not even be the best product, but if you have a good picture of it, it's gonna sell. Same thing with this. Say you have like a little drone or something like this. I actually just got this drone. What if I wanna sell it? Well, let's take a couple pictures. Let's post it online. Maybe you post it on Facebook or you post it on Instagram and say, hey, I wanna sell my product. Maybe you're an Amazon seller or you have an Amazon seller account and you wanna take some pictures of your products that you're trying to sell. Well, I'm gonna show you how to make a product photography box where you can get some really nice, seamless, white background pictures and it looks professional. This is how you make one really, really cheap. You can do it yourself. Probably under 10 or 15 bucks, you can make one of these yourself. With no lights, you can use natural light. Or if you wanna use light and you have some lights, you can use that as well. But I'll show you how to make one really cheap and use it with just natural light. So I went to Walmart and I found everything that I needed. You're gonna need a big box or a medium box or a small box. I decided to use a medium box. You can get that for about a dollar. Then you're gonna need some packing tape. Now you can get this for about a dollar or two dollars at Walmart as well. I like to use the clear packing tape that looks the best for me and it's really, really strong. Then you're gonna need either a box cutter, some type of sharp knife, or some good scissors. Uh, the box cutter probably works the best for this. Now you're also gonna need something translucent like some parchment paper or some wax paper. Something that's gonna let light through and is not solid. This is gonna act as a soft box so it's gonna kind of soften up that light that comes in there and make it look really, really nice. And the last thing you need is a piece of white poster board. And that's it, you can get that for like a dollar, 89 cents or something like that at Walmart. We are like under 10 bucks right now, I think. So it's like nothing to buy this. The first thing you're gonna need to do is decide what kind of box you're gonna use. So if you use a big box or a small box, it really doesn't matter. All you're gonna do is you're gonna close one end of this box and just tape that side up the best you can. You don't want it to come unloose. So just tape it up, put as much tape as you want to on there. Next thing you're gonna do is cut off all the flaps besides one. That one that you leave is gonna be your bottom, so cut off the left, the top, and the right side. Now we're gonna measure out the width of our parchment paper, and we're gonna cut out three sides of this box. So the left, the right, and the top. We're gonna leave the bottom like it is. The top, you don't really have to measure the size of the parchment paper, I just decided to do that, but we're gonna actually leave the top open so that we can take pictures from the top. Once we measure that out, we can go ahead and cut those sides open, and now we have three open sides from the left, the right, and the top. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our poster board and we're gonna kind of measure it out. You can do it as simple as you want to or as complicated as you want to, but measure it out the best way you can. We're gonna cut that to size. So once we've cut that, we're gonna take this poster board, we're gonna tape the top of it, and we're gonna tape it to the back top of the box. Now once you've done that, you can kind of push that back so it kind of has this arc to it. Then you can tape the loose end of the poster board to that bottom flap that you have left over. The left and the right are gonna receive some parchment paper. So now we're gonna pull out some parchment paper and we're gonna put that over top of that with some tape. Measure out your parchment paper, cut it to length, and then tape it to the side, and then make sure you do the same to the other side. Just make sure you pull that tight so it doesn't have any wrinkles in it. Now once you've done that, you're all done. All you have to do is put your product in there and take some photographs. So we wanna make sure that we're in a well-lit room. We have enough light over here, enough light over there. And you can see once you put in a product, you have plenty of space in here for this product right here. This is a Canon 7D. I have light coming in from this side. I have light coming in from this side. It's very soft on the product. And uh, we can also take pictures from the top if we need to. So if you want some pictures of, from up here, just place that down just like that and just zoom in and just take that picture. I hope that helped you guys out. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. All of the things that I bought should be in the description box below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.